Baghdad, there once lived a pious and exceptionally intelligent man named Wahab ibn Amr. He was a close relative of the Caliph and held a prestigious position at the royal court. However, times were bad for upright people. The ruling class was corrupt and those who spoke against their cries were executed. Wahab knew his life was at risk. So, one night, he goes to his spiritual master, Imam Qadim salam, to seek guidance. The Imam only responds with the Arabic letter Jim. Wahab understands this as Janun, the Arabic word for madness. So, he leaves his home, his family, his prestigious position and begins a life pretending to be mad. His insanity earns him public sympathy, thereby protecting him from the cruelty of the ruling class. Through his guise of a fool, he solves various problems of the common man while teaching them spiritual and moral lessons of life, thus earning him the name Bahlul Dana, the wise fool. Wahab would play with the children as though he was one amongst them. One day he got on his stick and acted as if he was on a horse. But then he got tired. Phew, looks like my horse is tired and would like to rest. <sighs> so he dismounted his horse and put it on one side. Uncle Wahab, does your horse eat grass? Does he drink water? Oh yes, he does eat and drink. But only from the Khalif's garden and bulls. Uncle Wahab, please let us ride your horse. No one should dare come near my horse, because he is wild. And no one should blame me if he kicks you. Wahab sat against the wall and sighed. Oh. Okay, children, all of you go home and let me rest. One by one, they all left. Wahab made a tent into his home. His family worried about him and started looking for him. They found him in his tent, sleeping using his hands as a pillow. Wahab, Wahab, wake up from this foolishness. Let's go home. Home? Hmm? This is my home. Huh? What shortcoming do you see in this tent? No fear of landlord, no fighting with neighbors, no fear of thieves. You're ill. Oh, Wahab, you need treatment. Everyone is sick. And who doesn't need treatment? Tell me, from the Khalif to the gatekeeper to the wazir, who does not need treatment? Listen to us. Oh Wahab, this place is not suitable for you. Why is this place not suitable? Verily, this place is much better than the court. On the day of judgment, I don't have to give account for living in this place compared to life at the court. Now, be gone my friends. For the Wahab you have previously known no longer exists. And they left the tent calling him Bahlul Dana or the wise fool. <laughs> Thank you.